A VNE box is, is basically, um, uh, in this setting space, a square box, and it has a damper in it. And then they'll have an allergy control that controls that damper. Okay? This, these air handlers here, one and two, blow air into the inlet of these boxes. And it doesn't matter if you have one or you have 50 of them. They all work very, the same way. Um, the controller itself um, recognizes set points, like CFM set points, a maximum and a minimum for cooling and a maximum and a minimum for heating. And um, because the damper has no idea what airflow is, it just could open and close based on if the temperature in the space was either too warm or too cool, then we could move this damper to provide heat, more air for heating or cooling. Well, the old pressure dependent systems were like that. With pneumatic stats, we used to go to dampers, and then when one would close because it was satisfied, they'd push air into the supply duct, and then unfortunately the fans would never back, back down. We didn't have inverters at that time. We had like inlet guide vanes that we could slow down the flow by closing down a damper on the inlet of the fan. So if that duct pressure increase was not sent because the damper closed, it moved it to another one. And they would put more air into that other adjacent zone and then if that one satisfied, it, it would close it down and it would have this cascade effect where eventually like the last two or three zones that were open, it would be like a whirlwind, right? Because the fans would never back, or the inlet guide would never close because half the times they weren't maintained and those kinds of things. So inherently you get this call like, hey, I got this loud obnoxious velocity noise and it's screaming out the grill and then you'd go there and the next day it's quiet. So that's because there's no means of the, of the damper knowing what airflow is going through it. So on a VAV box, you have two ports. You have a high port and a low port. Usually it's a green tube and a red tube, like striped pneumatic tube. One's the high. The high one is actually looking at the airstream, looking directly at, at the fan, if you would. And so its value is called total pressure. The other sensor, which is usually the green or the blue one, red being the higher one, being the total pressure. The other one looking in the opposite direction, like the fan air is blowing on your back, or if you're referencing the side of the duct, it would be true static pressure which would be the low. So you have total pressure and you have static pressure. If you take total pressure, you can use a magnet helix. If you guys are familiar with the magnet helix, it has a high-low port and a magnet helix. You can tie that into the high-low of your, of your pickups. You need T's going to them, and you could reference the pressure that's, that's going across that box. And there's a scale on the, a drawing on the side of the DAV box that tells you if it's an 8-inch or a 6-inch or a 10-inch. And you go up the scale, and you look at the left-hand side, and says, this is what the velocity pressure is. And you hit the scale like 8-inch, and you go straight down, and tells you how much CFM is going through it. Okay, so a VAV controller, what it does, it sees these two pressures, total pressure and static pressure. Total pressure minus static pressure, and I'll get a little bit of mathematics with design and engineering. Total pressure minus static pressure is a value called velocity pressure. If you take velocity pressure that was on your magnet helix, if you're reading that differential, if you square root that value times 4,005, you have to remember that, is velocity. So then in the logic of the control, you tell it's an 8-inch, a 10-inch, a 12-inch round, which now the controller knows what the area is. So it takes the two values and multiplies them by two but uh, with each other, and then you get basically CFM. So that's how that box now knows how much CFM is going through that particular damper. So then inherently, if it's a VAV pressure independent system that has velocity sensors or means of knowing what airflow is, once one closes down, then it moves the air to an adjacent zone. That zone knows its set point. It says, hey, I can't go below or above these values. If it sees an excess of about, then what it does, it says, I, I have to close down. And if it moves the air somewhere else, it closes down. It forces the duct pressure to go up. Then the duct static pressure sensor that's on the air handler senses that increase in pressure, then it slows the fan down. That's how a VAV box works. Supposed to work, and then that's for like a single inlet DAV box, and then you'd have a reheat coil. So if in fact you're in minimum position, and all of a sudden the space continues to drop in temperature because we are discharging like 55 degree air, standard 55 degree air, there's a reset schedule usually on on discharge air. But then your reheat coil would open up for that particular one zone if it needed a little bit of heat, and that heating would come from the equipment that's behind you. <laughs>